Okay, we are we are at an undisclosed location alongside an undisclosed stream that may or may not be some of the nicest trout water that I have ever seen. Man, it is really, really nice. And you can tell that we're a long way from a trailhead or a road because this area doesn't get fished very much. I'm gonna have to come back and see this sometime with my fly rod. Here's what it looks like though. We heard a uh, trout probably sucking up a grasshopper or some type of terrestrial, maybe a little cold for grasshoppers, and it sounded like a bass eating something off the top of a stream. It's it was a very big trout. So we are um, continuing on. Um, we're heading towards Kalkaska. Be there a little bit after noon, and our plan is to go to what I think is called the Trout City Cafe. Grab ourselves some curbsided hamburgers um, and then grab uh, across the street or down the street there's a convenience store grab some beer and start heading back south again how far we go I'm not really sure um, it's going to depend on how long we're there Eleanor is uh, meeting us there with Josie and uh, I get to hang out with them a little bit there being tourists in the Lower Peninsula. We came across the Mac Bridge. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. It has turned into a beautiful day. It's probably like, I don't know, perfect fall weather, 60 something. 50 something um, in the sun it's warm and the shade it's cool there's a nice little breeze we're just going through these areas with ferns and pines um, it's really beautiful also we saw the friendliest um, no trespassing sign it just said trail users please stay on trail private property boundary nearby instead of like no trespassing over and over which is very friendly very nice. I mean, I'll obey any rule, but I just thought that was a pretty nice one. So, anyway, moving on to Kalkaskia, Kalkaska. We were wrong about our timing. For some reason, we thought we were going to be there at about 11. It's more like one or two. So, I'm not sure if we'll meet my daughter, our daughter, and her girlfriend, but I hope we do. If we don't, then... We'll see him later. Um, but that's what we're doing. Oh! I just saw a snake. I don't see where he went. There was just a, I think it was a gar um, garter snake. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hanging out in the sun. Oh, looks like there's a deer. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's so small, though. Oh, I guess you just sit there. Yeah. Not in the trail, man. <laughs> That's a, the last bear prints we saw were not very big. That one's a pretty decent size. I mean, a little more faded. This is where he strolls every day, then. Right where the hikers are. <laughs> Tasty hikers. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Garter Snake. You're very pretty. Please don't get run over by the car that's getting ready to come over here. I think it's on a different road. Oh. Does that make him move? Uh, I don't think it's on our road. 
Yeah, we can make them. No, 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 don't, 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 now, don't, 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 you're scaring me now, stop it. Scaring you? Yeah. Why? Well, you're scaring him too. <laughs> Bye, guy. Have a good day. <laughs> I didn't want him to run into me. Oh. <laughs> Remember the salamander that ran up my leg? Oh my god, I missed my chance. <laughs> that would not have been nice. It would have been hilarious though. No. I would have been terrified. By the way, we just saw blazes that were going the other way. And we're not exactly sure what happened, but thanks to Avenza, we know where to go. So that's good. Thank you, Avenza. Thanks, <laughs> and North Country Trail people who made Avenza. You guys are awesome. I bought your hat. I'm a member too. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Okay. We've got a mile to go. <laughs> or less than I may a mile. have been on the trail too long. And we are meeting my daughter and her girlfriend Josie. And I they have beer and Josie. hamburgers. <laughs> I mean, so the world is like looking up amazing so woo and we're trying to decide if we're going to uh, we're trying to decide at this point if we are going to take two days to hike the 46 miles back to uh van or if we're going to do 10 miles for the rest of today the and then the balance of it tomorrow so either yeah it's hard to know hard to know Hard to know. It's really pretty out here. <laughs> and it's going to be beautiful weather. Both nights. Idyllic. Idyllic. So, do we camp and hang out? Or do we try to rush home and not well, camp? back to the van. Back to the van. Anyway. That's right. Sleep in the van or sleep on the ground? Oh. Hmm. That made me think of the van. Well, the van also has cold beer in it, too. Yeah. But then we don't see the stars. Well, unless we just open the back. Yeah. Huh. Oh, well. These are the things we're thinking about. All right. Goodbye. Okay, I'm still here. I just wanted to give you some more views. I like to end with a blaze, Joe. It's so nice that way. In case people forget what video they're watching, they can be like, oh, it's a blue blaze. It's the North Country Trail. We are back on the trail after just having some awesome trail angel supplied trail magic by oh. Josie and Eleanor. Burgers and beer. Burgers and, and beer. Apples and apple pie. Yeah, it was. Oh my god. It was epic. It Maybe was. We need to actually do a real trail, like like do a real through hike. We're doing a real trail. Well, we love this trail magic. <laughs> we should do it. We should actually do more hiking. Maybe more people will bring us food. No, that's not what I meant. I just meant it'd be nice. That was lovely to see. Lovely to see Eleanor. And lovely to see Josie. It was really lovely to see Ellie and Josie. Yeah. So we are back on the trail. We decided that we are going to. Um, finish it up tomorrow so we're leaving uh now and um we're gonna try to do 10 miles 12 miles more miles today and then we'll do the the balance tomorrow it's about three o'clock probably gonna hike until it gets dark it actually clouded up and looks like it's going to rain awesome. um it's not supposed to rain but we're also on a coastal weather pattern that, uh, you know, it's not always predictable here. <laughs> we have what we need if it rains. We have rain jackets. Yeah. So yeah, onward. You seem to be destined to end up next to shooting ranges. Maybe this is hiking in Michigan on the NCT. Well, we're back at, I forget which lake it is actually, but we're heading back 
Twilight is getting ready to happen, probably about an hour and a half from sunset. So it's really beautiful. Um, the light is just stunning. And the trees are trying to change colors. So it's just really phenomenal. Um, we're trying to get back to one of the river campsites, although we might stay at one of the lakes just depending on how we're feeling, uh, how fast we're moving. Um, but just wanted to kind of show the lake and the light. Here we are. It's probably too dark to actually see anything, but we are. Um, we found a campground or a campsite <laughs> near a lake. There are other people camping here, so maybe it's a campground. We don't really know. Um, and we're going to have a beer that Josie and Ellie gave us. It is not um, a campground. That's the beer. It's Silver Spruce Brewing. Um, anyway, it's going to be pretty awesome. We're figuring out our Gossamer Gear tent that Joe is working in right now. It probably looks like a red glow. Um, have a good night. See you in the morning. Later. <laughs> Thank you, Josie and Eleanor, for this beer. <laughs> at a campsite way in the middle of no place we just had to carry it <laughs> your socks are hanging there too <laughs> I'll go like this <laughs> that's See it fine again. it's part of the real experience <laughs>